My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Dorothy Booker bought this car brand new on January 6th of 1965. And uh, she bought it from Dumas Milner Chevrolet in Miami. That's where she lived. She kept this car till 2017. So it was a one woman owner SS396 Chevelle for all those years. The second owner bought the car. He restored it. That's who we bought it from. Uh, we have a copy. Actually, they sent us back the original title, so we will give you the original title as she signed off on in 2017. And also, we have a copy of the uh, finance agreement as well. Uh, we'll go with the car. So it's a real SS number match, and it's had a body off frame restoration. The sheet metal on this car is outstandingly clean. Go to volocars.com. Uh, that's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures top to bottom. You will find price tags on every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Underneath the car is probably my favorite part on this one. It's so clean. The floors and the chassis are immaculate. They're just smooth, smooth as a chalkboard. They're not pitted, flaky. Um, so the body was off the frame, the underbody, all they had to do was clean it and they dusted it with some fresh black paint so it looks real nice. And then the chassis, uh, they took it all apart, all the suspension and bushings and steering, it was all rebuilt front and back. Uh, they painted it all as more of a glossier black. Uh, and again, it's smooth, not even pitted. They did upgrade the front with disc brakes. That didn't come out till 67, but it does have new disc brakes. E-brake is hooked up. Uh, brake lines, uh, fuel lines are replaced. The fuel tank, the sending unit, that was replaced. All new body bushings. Uh, new correct style dual exhaust. They did a nice, neat job. The tailpipes are bent. They're up in here, they're not hanging down. It's a nice turn down tip at the back. There's no pipes hanging down, sticking out. Uh, you look up at the bottom of the motor, it's real nice and clean and fresh. Correct canister type oil filter that they used back then. Uh, has its original Power Glide automatic transmission, has its original 12 volt uh, rear end. So it has all of its original drivetrain. Uh, so underneath the car, Really, really nice, very impressive. Uh, so the body, that's uh, an original white car. Uh, it's a little imperfection in the paint right here, just a little area of tiny, tiny pimples. This is all nice and straight. The car is real straight. And all the lines are real good and straight. No rust, no bubbles. Yeah, nothing down here. Yeah, the body is excellent. Straight, no damage. There's a rub mark right here. Oh, that comes off. Uh, obviously, no vinyl top. The roof is all real nice. The trunk is excellent. It's all really nice and sharp. The body is really nice. This side's just as good. No rust, no bubbles, and it is straight. For white paint, they really went the extra. They made it so smooth and glossy. I'm looking at the reflection, it's like a mirror. I don't really see any imperfections. I don't see any chips or damage. I told you about the little spot right there, there's a little spot right here, two of them about the size of quarters, just, I mean, fine, fine little, little pimples in the paint. Uh, so the vent window frame is real nice, has a bow tie mirror uh, in good shape. The trim looks like it's good original. Little freckles on the door handles, they might be original. Emblems look real nice. Tail trim and bumper are real nice. Has a rear mount antenna. I love the red line tires, they're BF Goodrich. So they're radial red lines uh, with the poverty wheels and caps. Windshield must have been replaced, that's crystal clear. 
up front here, the bumper's re chrome, the trim looks like it's been replaced. So I think the body is in great shape. It has a really nice look. Let's open it up, see if we like the inside too. All right, let's see what we've got. I love that metal twing sound. You only get that in an old car. And the squeaky hinges too. Uh, so under the trunk lid, painted glossy, has a sticker. The jam is nice and glossy. A uh, new weather strip. Inside the trunk is really clean, dry metal. Those are the original quarter panels, best I can tell. I was just uh, up in there looking. I don't see any cuts or splices. And look what a nice job they did with the gray and white spatter finish paint. Uh, we've got a restored rim, uh, got a tire, restored jack, new trunk mat. So I'm going to say it's a nice clean trunk compartment. I love the white with the uh, blue interior. Really, that's what caught my eye. Jams are painted real nice. Door panels all replaced. Top of the door is repainted. Now inside the car has some new and has some original. The steering wheel's original. It's got its original chips in the paint. The dash pad's been replaced. The chrome trim has been replaced. The knobs look original. The lens is nice and clear. Original AM radio. Original heater controls. It, the blower works, but you can see it's kind of faded. The outside's painted, but the inside is the original paint with the original sticker here. Original glove box liner. Uh, down on the floor, the carpet's been replaced. Original center console. You can see it's got a little wear around the shifter. Whoever buys this car is going to appreciate the fact you know, it's a one-woman one owner car, so they're going to want originality. Uh, seats have been re-cushioned and re-upholstered, uh, front and back. It's got missing an ashtray on that side. I think those are available new. The side panels, the rear deck, that's all real nice. The headliner's been replaced, the visors too. So you could replace a few little items inside the car to bring it up to another level if you so desired. I love the blue against the white. So that is the original VIN number matching uh, 396, 325 horsepower. It's a little unique that there's an extra letter H stamped on the front. That means it came with a Holly intake and carburetor. Uh, the intake says Holly right on it, and under that big air cleaner is a Holly carb. So we got stock manifolds, valve covers, air cleaner assembly. It's all stock. Look how nice the engine bay is. The metal is clean and smooth. We have reproduction hoses and clamps. Delco battery topper and spring clamp cables. Got the right cap, the right shroud, washer fluids hooked up. And this is a power steering car uh, and also has power brakes. That all looks new, probably when they did the disc brake conversion. So really a very nice engine compartment. Under the hood's real nice. So there again, one woman owner, SS Chevelle. You're not going to find too many of those. Second owner did the restoration. That's who we bought it from. Go to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression. Salesmen can help answer some of your questions. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you with the financing. 
at volocars.com. Really hope you're enjoying these videos. Subscribe and click on that bell icon so you can see them as they're posted. Thanks for watching.